The stock market, a bustling hub of investments, often feels unpredictable. Like a ship navigating through turbulent seas, investors seek tools to chart a course through the choppy waters of financial markets. Economic indicators are these tools, acting as compasses and maps for investors seeking to understand the complexities of the economy and their impact on stock prices. These indicators, signalling shifts in economic activity, equip investors with the knowledge to make informed decisions. Understanding these indicators is crucial for both novice and seasoned investors. These economic signposts provide valuable insights into the health and future direction of an economy, directly influencing corporate earnings, investor sentiment and ultimately stock prices. By grasping the language of these indicators, investors can potentially anticipate market movements and position themselves strategically. One of the most closely watched economic indicators is the Gross Domestic Product, or GDP. GDP represents the total value of all goods and services produced within a country's borders over a specific period. It serves as a comprehensive measure of a nation's economic activity. A healthy, growing GDP typically signals an expanding economy, indicating that businesses are thriving and consumers are spending. This positive economic environment generally leads to increased corporate profits, bolstering investor confidence and driving stock prices higher. Conversely, a shrinking GDP suggests a contracting economy, often accompanied by reduced corporate earnings, waning investor sentiment and downward pressure on stock prices. Investors closely monitor GDP growth rates as a key indicator of economic health. Consistent GDP growth often translates into a favourable environment for businesses, boosting investor confidence and driving stock market investments. Inflation, the rate at which prices for goods and services rise over time, presents a more complex scenario for investors. While moderate inflation is generally considered a sign of a healthy economy, high inflation can erode purchasing power create uncertainty and negatively impact stock prices. High inflation often forces businesses to raise prices, potentially impacting consumer demand and squeezing profit margins. This uncertainty can make investors wary, leading to a decline in stock valuations. Conversely, low inflation, while seemingly positive, can also signal economic weakness and deflationary pressures, further impacting business growth and investor sentiment. Central banks closely monitor inflation, often adjusting interest rates to control it. These interest rate adjustments can significantly impact borrowing costs for businesses and consumers, influencing corporate profits and investor behaviour. Understanding the dynamics of inflation is crucial for investors to navigate its potential effects on the stock market. Section 4. Employment. A barometer of economic health. Employment indicators, such as the unemployment rate, provide crucial insights into the strength of an economy. Low unemployment rates indicate a robust economy with high consumer spending power. High employment rates suggest more consumers with disposable income, boosting demand for goods and services. This drives corporate revenues and investor confidence. Conversely, rising unemployment can signal economic weakness, reducing consumer spending and corporate profits. Investors and economists closely watch employment data for insights into future economic trends. Section 5. Connecting the dots. Economic indicators and market predictions. Understanding economic indicators is like having a backstage pass to the financial markets. By analysing these indicators, investors gain insight into the forces driving stock market movements. No indicator can predict the future with certainty, but recognising their interplay empowers informed decisions. GDP growth, inflation rates and employment figures offer a glimpse into an economy's health. Monitoring these indicators helps investors navigate the stock market's complexities.